Hello there, Ray here, and today guys, we will be looking at 7 tricks in order to conquer the new bastions in 1.16.2. These things are loaded with a new mob called the Higlin Brute, which has a lot of health, plus can almost kill the player with a single hit. These things generate with the bastions, which offer all the great loot in chest as well as in gold. And the Brutes are a much stronger version of the Piglins and are not scared of things like Soulfire, Zombified Piglins or get distracted by gold. They have one job and that job is to kill the player before he takes anything from their Bastion. If you're able to overcome this new mob added in 1.16.2, you will get rewarded with a lot of early game useful items like Diamond, Netherite and a lot of gold which you can use to barter with the Piglins and get even more amazing stuff. 1.16.2 also offers new items for bartering and I covered that in this video here, which you can find in the description. The first tip for taking on the new Bastions for 1.16.2 is to not make the normal piglins mad. This is done just by wearing a gold piece of armor. Gold boots are the cheapest, only taking 4 gold ingots. And this will make it so that all the normal piglins will not attack you. During 1.16 snapshot testing streams, which we have every Wednesday, we came up with a lot of new ways to take on the brutes. And thanks to everyone who joined for those. The next tip is to not actually hit the brutes. So these are the piglin brutes and they're added in 1.16.2. But if you hit these guys, it'll actually make the normal piglins mad at you as well. So if I go ahead and just punch this guy, you see that these guys are now also going to try to attack me. Now if you do happen to attack one of the piglins, either type, you can stop them from being mad at you. They can do this by two ways, by unloading the chunks, getting so far away from the chunks that the game unloads them. So essentially if you don't see them, the chunks are unloaded. Other thing is going into a nether portal. So if you have another portal nearby, you can hop in here. This will also allow the chunks to unload. And then when you come back over, the piglins will no longer be mad at you. So let's go ahead and put in some piglins. You can see they're no longer mad at me. But if you do get attacked at any point, make sure to check your armor that is gold because it can quickly deplete as gold boots only have 91 durability. And once they're gone, both types of piglins will start attacking you. So trick number three is how to actually handle the brutes as if you get close to them, they'll automatically attack you even if you have gold on and they do a huge amount of damage. If you have no armor on, they can almost one hit you on the hard difficulty. The best way to take on these guys is actually using boats. Now, there's a few different variations that you can make, but you cannot actually make boats out of the nether fungus trees. So there is no crimson variation or warped variation of boats. So if you're doing like a nether only survival challenge, then you won't have access to this. So by having a bunch of boats in your bar here, if any of these guys try to come after you, place a boat in between you and them, and they will automatically hop into it if they're moving when they're near it. Now these guys are perfectly safe and won't be able to escape. Now you've just made this area completely safe for you to move around as you still have your gold boots on. These guys can no longer attack you. Now you can start making your way into the actual bastion. But as you're traversing the bastion, make sure to be ready at any point to place down a boat when you come in contact with another brute. Now if the brutes do hit you, it's not actually going to make normal piglins mad as long as you still have your gold on. Now you can use the boat tactic to encase all types of piglins, but you do need to have a significant amount of room in order to place it down, which can be kind of hard in some of these small cramped areas. Now the fourth trick is on how to handle hoglins. As hoglins are a pretty big mob, we do F3 plus B, we can see how big the game actually thinks they are. And boats will not actually pick these guys up. This is because of how the boats work. If the mob is the same size as the boat or larger, the boat will not be able to pick them up. And that's why adult hog lens will not go into the boats automatically. But because of their large size, you can also take advantage of it, allowing you to go into smaller areas that they can't fit in, like a 2x1, and attacking them from a safe distance. Hoglins can generate with inside of the bastions if it is this type of bastion which is a hoglin stable one but they can also spawn around the outside of it and make their way inside of it. Now the two best things that you can find in bastions are loot chest as well as gold blocks that generate with the structure. First we'll talk about the loot chest which provide a wide variety of useful items including some items that you can't actually get anywhere else but inside of bastions. Let's talk about the types of loot you guys can get from the bastion. There's four different types of bastions and there's also four different types of loot chest. So the first type of loot you can get is a generic chest. This can be found in all four different bastion types as well as the only type of chest that can be found in the housing unit bastion. 
These chests offer a wide variety of things. And if you would happen to loot 50 different chests of this type, on average, you would get about this much stuff. A wide variety of different gold stuff, including gold blocks. And you can have a rare chance of getting some diamond tools. This chest is the only chest that also offers music discs as well as the snout banner pattern. Both of which are new items to 1.16 and exclusively found this way. Now you can get some ancient debris, but it's quite rare. If you end up in a bridge bastion, it can offer you the normal general loot chest as well as its own, which are the bridge loot. This is what you can typically find if you would loot 50 of them. You don't get as many items as the general one. You do get some unique items like the lodestone, but for the most part, it's just a lot of gold gear. The third type of bastion that you can come across is the hoglin stable. This is ones where you can find the hoglins that also generate with it. You don't get as many items, but you get a lot more diamond tools. You also got a chance of getting more ancient debris as well as scraps and a bunch of different types of hoglin related stuff and crimson variations of stuff. Now the last type of bastion is probably the one that offers the most valuable stuff. You can see we got a wide variety of diamond gear and they also have random enchantments on them. You also can find diamonds, netherite ingots, netherite blocks, ancient debris blocks as well as ancient scraps. And if you would happen to loot 50 of these you would end up being quite wealthy but you will not find any netherite gear. You could make your own taking the diamond stuff and combining it with the netherite ingots and a smithing table. That was so much awesome loot to be acquired. What is the best way to actually collect this loot? Now piglins will notice you if you happen to open up a chest while they are watching you. So open this one up, you see they will now be mad at me. The next trick is to actually get these guys to not be mad at you when you open up the chest. One way you can actually do that is open up the chest even though they are mad at you, they will become de-aggroed over time. So it's only been a couple of seconds and you can see this guy is no longer mad at me for opening up the chest. Now you can also avoid them from being mad at you altogether just by boxing yourself in so they don't see you. And you can take whatever you need from the chest. And then you can go ahead and make your way out and they won't be mad at you because they've never seen you open up the chest. Now there's some also alternative ways you can go ahead and get the items from the chest without them getting mad at you. You can blow it up using TNT, as long as you don't light this using flint and steel or, or like a flame arrow, but instead use a generic way of powering it, like a button, you go ahead and blow it up. And what will happen is the chest will blow up, but it will drop everything inside of it. You do have to watch out because of this gold stuff, the piglins will try to come by and pick it up. And the little babies can actually pick up all the gold stuff too. Plus they can also pick up non-gold stuff. If they happen to pick up something that you wanted, you can kill them and they will drop everything that they had picked up before. Another way you can get the items out without them knowing that you took them is by putting a hopper underneath of it. This will pull the items into this hopper here and then you can pull them out of here without them getting mad. And there's no chance of them taking your items. This method is kind of slow though, but in 1.16.2 they also added so sometimes underneath the chest will be this gilded block. Any type of gold block that is mined up by the player will alert the pigmen and they will come in and try to attack you. This includes the gilded blocks, the nether gold ore, and the gold blocks. And they'll even get mad if you try to break these chests by hand. If I just break this one here, even though there's no items in it, Let's see, it will aggro these guys. Now they're all mad at me. This is why you use a hopper to pull the items out rather than just breaking the chest. The next way to keep the piglins off of you when they get aggroed is to put down something that they are afraid of, like soul torches. Any type of soul variation of things they are scared of, including soul torches, uh, soul campfires. The guys with the crossbows will try to still attack you from a far distance. You can also use the soul sand with fire on top which makes the soul fire. This will kind of keep them at bay until they de-aggro. As long as you don't hit them, they should de-aggro. Now they're also scared of zombified piglins. So if you have any of those around you while you're opening up chests, this will also keep these guys away from you. So you get a guy right here, they try to come in to attack you, but then they're afraid of this guy. So if you have one of these guys after you, you can just kind of hide behind one of these zombified piglins. The zombified piglins seem to do a better job at scaring them than the soul fires. Now when it comes to mining any type of gold block or thing that upsets them, it's a little bit different than opening up the chest. Even if they don't see you, they will still be mad at you. So it's best to encase yourself in with the block that you want to mine, and then go ahead and mine it. 
the guys are still going to be mad at you and they may even try to pick up your gold block. But just like as before, they will de-aggro after about 15 seconds. Then it's safe for you to come back out of your hole. When you do mine any type of gold block, it will alert Pigman up to 16 blocks away. So like this guy here is actually mad at me, even though he didn't see me, but he was within sight of the range. The next trick in order to conquer the Bastion is to distract the Piglins as you are looting. You can do this by dropping them different types of gold stuff. So if I dig a hole in the ground and I drop in something gold, they will rush down into the hole trying to get the gold piece. Now using gold blocks are quite expensive. You can use something like a bell that you found from a village. Any type of gold variation will work, but it might take a couple different pieces in order to get all the piglins to fall in the hole before you're able to loot the chest without worrying about them. Now stuff that won't work is gold rails in the job edition and bedrock edition, they will work. Also gold ingots, they will pick up, but they won't actually run towards them to pick it up. If they just happen to be near it, it'll just automatically go into their inventory. But you can use any gold stuff that you happen to pick up during your chest looting and use that to lure them down into a hole. Once all piglins are in a hole, be free to go ahead and grab all the stuff in the chest or break any gold blocks that are nearby that you want to mine. The next trick can be used on brutes as well as normal piglins. And that is just using a lava bucket. These guys are not immune to lava damage or fire damage. If you place some lava in front of them, they will eventually uh, die from it. But they are like any other mob where they will try to pathfind around it. And lava does flow down to the lowest point, which can make quite a mess if you're inside of a bastion. The next trick is the most powerful one. This one allows you to enter a bastion without having to worry about any of the guys attacking you for most situations. This is using a visibility potion, which makes it so the mobs can't see you. You do have to make sure you're not wearing any armor, otherwise they can see if you're somewhat close. Now you could come into a bastion and both the brutes as well as the piglins won't be able to see you. And you can even go into the chest and grab stuff and they won't get mad. With this you don't even need to use any gold armor. But one thing you cannot do is actually mine any gold blocks. Because even though you have the invisibility, they know exactly where you are and they will come after you and try to attack you. But they will eventually de-aggro. Now Piglin Brutes actually have some interesting properties. First being that their weapon is actually an axe, but they're able to disable shields. They can knock them down so that they don't work again. And even if you have multiple shields, you can see that they all have a cooldown, so you can't raise up another one. They also have some interesting features, like they have 50 health, which is equivalent to 25 hearts. And they spawn in with the persistence require tag 1, which means they do not despawn, so they'll always be here waiting for you. This also means that they don't count towards a hostile mob cap, and won't prevent other mobs from spawning in. They also contain the can pick up loot 1 tag, which has quite a few other unique properties. One being they're able to actually pick up better weapons. But they just don't pick up any type of weapons. If I give them like a netherite axe or a diamond axe or even some better swords, they won't actually take these. But if I give them this golden axe, which happens to have enchantment and is sharpness 5, he will pick up this. They picked up the enchanted one and he dropped his own. This tag also allows them to equip armor. Now if you drop the armor on the ground, they won't actually pick it up and put it on themselves. But if you have a dispenser near them, and you point it into them. And if we go ahead and power this, we can make him wear different pieces. Got some chain boots, got his nether right chest plate, and a turtle helmet. You could dress these guys up and have them on a display. Piglin boots are just like normal piglins where they will be mad at wither skeletons and wither skeletons will be mad at them. But since they are so strong, they can easily take down uh, wither skeletons a couple of hits. But it's not worth having these guys in a farm compared to having a dog, which will give you that chance of getting a wither skull. Piglin Brutes won't attack any other mob, but if other mobs would happen to attack him, such as uh, his Johnny Vindicator, he will go ahead and defend himself. He can actually kill them quite fast because they are so strong. If you do kill a normal Piglin Brute, you have a chance of getting their Golden Axe. So I'll kill this guy with some super high looting, and you can see we've got XP's as well as his weapon. If Piglin Brutes come through another portal and end up here in the overworld, they will convert over just like normal Piglins. Both these guys will turn into zombified Piglins. But they will keep their weapon. But now that they are a zombified piglin, they are able to pick up and swap out their axe for other weapons which they consider better. Funny enough, even though piglins as well as brutes are not actually considered undead mobs, they still sink in the water just like undead mobs. And they will still convert over. And the guys that do convert to have crossbows, they don't actually use their crossbows. They still smuck you with their fist. The guy with the axe will actually hit you with the axe. Brutes will also not take part in any piglin hoglin hunts. And even if a hoglin starts attacking a normal piglin, the brutes here actually won't even try to help out then. You can see they're fighting right now. 
And even though they killed that guy, these guys just don't care. Seven tricks to take on the new Piglin Brute for 1.16.2. If you guys have any of your own tips or tricks, make sure to tell us down in the comments. Don't forget to share this video with your favorite Minecrafter, as well as leave a like on it. I like thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!